Wait, wait, wait. So you're telling me you played Subnautica and I, I didn't even know about it? Yeah. Yeah, I, I went and added some stuff to our base and collected a bunch of resources and I even sorted some of them. I even saw a couple of Reapers while I was out exploring, but I was able to avoid them. You know, uh, uh, unlike you. Hold on, hold on. How do I not know about this? I mean, when did this even happen? I, I don't know. I, I've been doing it the past couple of nights. Uh, you were sleeping and uh, I was bored, so I just did it. Oh my God, this explains why I've been so tired lately. It's because I'm not actually getting any sleep because you have me up all night playing this game. Oh, come on. Come on, it's not that big of a deal. Not that big of a deal. You are subconsciously taking over my body so you can play a video game that I don't even like in the middle of the night. Okay, again, you, of course you like Subnautica. It is the best game ever created. Okay, but how am I not remembering any of this happening? Like, even when you're playing, I usually still hear and see and feel everything you're doing, right? Even though you're the one in control. We established that in the last video. I don't know, man. So what, now you can just take over my body and I don't even realize it now? Uh, yeah, I guess so. Welcome back, everybody. My name is Free Floating Positivity. Today, we are continuing with, of course, Subnautica. And yes, I did play this game a little bit on my own time. So uh, I did a few things. So I'm going to uh, show you my my newly updated base. And then from there, we will I will tell you what we're going to be planning on doing today. Yeah, so my base has changed quite a bit since last time you saw it. So. Wow. That is loud. So let's start here, I guess. Uh, Moonpool is mostly the same. We got one of these um, vehicle upgrade consoles and I have the Seamoth depth module Mark One and the storage module on here right now. So that's pretty cool. Uh, let's see. I've organized some of my materials. These are all different crafting materials in these lockers. Uh, let's see. I have an aquarium just for, you know, just for fun, filled with some fishies. Um, I have a modification station. I got a bunch of Bulbo trees. Is that a sand shark? Uh, I have a bedroom. I decorated it all nice. My keep calm poster. It's important to me. Let's see. This was my bedroom, uh, but I emptied it out so that I can put a, uh, what is it called? Uh, an alien containment uh, here. Um, I haven't found the blueprint or anything for that yet, but when I do, that's where that's going to go. Let's see, scanner room, that's the same. Bioreactor, that's the same. But on the second floor is another bioreactor. So maybe a little overkill, but I don't, you know, whatever. It's fine. I think that's about, oh, wait, you know what? There is one more thing. I was in the mushroom forest, I think, and I found a bunch of these gel sacks. So I planted a bunch of them. That's cool. Yeah, this is what my base looks like from the outside now. So that's fun. So the plan today, in my travels, uh, collecting just resources and stuff, I actually ended up finding some pretty cool blueprints, mainly the Cyclops, all of the different blueprints. Um, I was able to find those, I think, in the uh, underwater islands biome and I think also the mushroom forest biome, I believe. Oh, also, I downloaded a, a map mod just to help me remember where I am in the map. That's that's really all this does is it's just letting me know where I am because I don't really know what the biomes are called. So, yeah, it was in this mushroom forest and like right here on this underwater island, I was able to get the I think the engine parts. I saw that the engine parts are there's a lot of them in this crash zone, but there's a lot of Reapers there and I don't. I just, you know, why why go here when I can go here and not have to deal with any Reapers? You know, that just helps me mentally with my day. So, yeah. So the plan for today is to go to the, uh, what's it called? The Jelly Shroom Cave. Jelly Shroom Cave, which you, we are right above. Um, we're right above it. We have the we have the uh, the depth module now, and we're going to the Jelly Shroom Cave mostly to find magnetites. And I want Magnetite to make this scanner room HUD chip, as well as a Seamoth sonar. That's what I'm planning on doing. So, oh, and I got one of these Thermoblade things. These are cool. This is fun. All right, so let's 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 take a, a snooze before we do this.
approximately 10 hours later. So yeah, the last episode I ended in the Aurora. I said I was going to pick up from there, and uh, I lied. So I actually ended up repairing the Aurora of the uh, the radiation, so that's all fixed. I ended up coming back uh, just so I could get some stuff done. You know, it, it's, it was all stuff that I didn't think was worth putting into a video. All right, here we go. I've been putting off going into this cave, but we're today we're doing it. Ooh. Ooh, this is pretty. Ooh. Okay. What's this stuff? Silver ore. Okay. Okay. Cool. All right. So, yeah. These are the enemies. I forget what these are called. I've heard about them, though. That's basically the only thing I have to worry about in this area. The conditions in this cave support a microcosm of unique, possibly predatory life forms. Detecting an artificial structure somewhere in the region. Right. Ooh, maybe over there? What's that? I know that there's like a, a D D Degassi, Degassi uh, sea base thing here. Hello? Hey. Uh, excuse me. Ooh, that looks like magnetite. Right there it is. Yep. That's cool. All right. Magnetite. Wait, I want one of these. An Oculus. I don't know what that is, but I want one. Ooh, this looks like this looks like it's it. What we're looking for, maybe. Hi. Hello. Goodbye. Oh, you're coming after me. Okay. Okay, wait. No, hold on. Uh, whatever I was looking for, I, I was wrong. Oh wait, no, it's right here. It's definitely right here. Ooh, this is another thing I was looking for, a stasis rifle fragment. I have one of two, so this will let me make a stasis rifle. Look at that. Making progress is nice. There's more magnetite. Awesome. What's trying to eat me? Is it one of those snakes? Where? Where? What? Hi. Excuse me? Okay. We have a power cell charger fragment. That seems useful. Excuse me. What are you yelling about? Are you attacking my Seamoth? Hold on. Wait, wait, wait. You're attacking my Seamoth. Wait, wait, we can't have that. Okay, I'm glad I realized what was happening there because that could have been bad. It is violent down here. Interesting. There's more magnetite. I think that's all we need for now, actually, but... Oh my goodness. Hello. Can I help you? No, go back in your mushroom. Go back in your mushroom. Thank you. Goodbye. Ooh, diamonds. We need that as well. More diamonds, thank you. When sea monsters are hunting you, you don't hide. You hunt the sea monsters. Water filtration you machine. Build a bigger boat out hey. of sea monster bones and you hunt bigger monsters. Keep going until there aren't any monsters left to hunt you. I'll raid the indoor grow beds before I leave. Integrating new PDA. Ooh. Ultra high capacity tank. Near blueprint acquired. 30 seconds. Wow. Okay, so we're getting all kinds of stuff. Very, very cool. I'm gonna go back in there one more time just to make sure I got everything. What's up here? More PDA? Integrating new PDA data. Stalker Something teeth. Something incredible just happened. Since we're down here, um, I had to build equipment and study the life forms we were encountering, but I didn't have enough enameled glass. So, I started okay. looking for um, Yeah, I've actually found a few stalker teeth just just by 
you know, swimming around. I know I need them for something. I'm forgetting what I need them for at the moment, but I, I'll remember at some point. Whenever I need to get them, I'll, I'll remember. I'm just going to keep collecting some stuff, and then if anything interesting happens, I'll let you know. But I think I'm almost done here for now. Hello? Sorry. All right, my inventory is now full. So now I need to figure out how to get out of here. Right here, here we go. Well, see, now that wasn't so bad. It was actually really pretty. So now I have magnetite. I have a good amount of diamond and lithium. Uh, so now I can make my little upgrades I was wanting to make. Let's see. One of them should be right here. Yep. Seamoth sonar. I don't really know what the you know ideal upgrades are for the Seamoth or anything, but this just seems useful. And uh, people have been telling me to get this scanner room HUD chip thing so we're gonna do that right now i believe this is something that i actually like equip to me yeah so if i were to say if i wanted to find salt deposits for instance there we go yeah so now i can see where it is that is that is useful right there Nice. Nice. Cool. I also found, what was it, the ultra high capacity tank? Ooh, and a water filtration machine. But I need aerogel, and to make aerogel, I need rubies. And I don't know where to get rubies. I'm going to have to look that up. Okay, so ultra high capacity tank. I need a high capacity O2 tank and a lithium times four. Okay. Well, so I have a lightweight uh, high capacity tank. Uh, so I'm gonna have to build myself another high capacity tank. Oh, I also found um, one of these, the, the cuttlefish, cuttlefish egg. So that's cool. And I have three stalker teeth. I forget what I need them for. I'll figure it out. I, I just, whatever. And these are some things I need to make a prawn suit, I believe. I stored some of them in here. Let's see, let's make this uh, ultra high capacity tank. And then from there, I don't know what I wanna do. Okay, so we got that. And now the ultra high capacity for lithium. Okay. There we go. And how much? So the normal ones give me 90. More, way more than 90. How much is that? 180. Holy Jesus. Okay. I don't really need this anymore. I don't really know what to do with it though. I'm going to make a little locker to put stuff like that in. Okay, I'm gonna look up where I find uh, rubies real quick. Okay, so Grand Reef, Lost River, and Deep Sparse Reef. Okay, so the Deep Sparse Reef, I should be able to get to this. Yeah, I should be able to get to that. I need aerogel to make a prawn suit, so that's probably my next thing, is finding uh, rubies. Okay. That sounds easy enough. Let's figure out my inventory again. Now the deep sparse reef, or the sparse reef was here. And somewhere around here was where I found, uh, I, I can't remember. I was looking for some blueprints for something. But I didn't go deep, I didn't go down to this life pod. But it doesn't seem like there's much danger in the sparse reef, so that's good for me. Let's do that, so. Let's go to life pod 19. We're gonna have to go fairly deep down, you know, in comparison to where we've been before. I think this area can get down to like 300 meters. That's where this life pod is at least. So pretty deep, but if there's no danger down here, then we should be okay. Oh, hello? What did I just run into? Oh, I'm sorry. I didn't even see you. Hello? Why y'all keep running into me? Ow. Ow. Sorry. 
What's that down there? Ooh. Yeah, I want that. Nice. What is that? Alien vent. These vents connect to an ancient piping network that extends beyond maximum scannable depths. The pumping system is still functional. The inflow vent is drawing water from the surrounding area and pumping it to an unknown location below the surface. Warm, deoxygenated water is being expelled into the atmosphere. Most creatures are avoiding the vents. Peepers can be observed entering and exiting the pipe network without signs of distress. Okay, interesting. What's this? Creature egg. Sure. Ah, hey, stop it. Uncalled for. Warning. Maximum depth reached. Hull damage Ooh. imminent. My bad. I'll stay I'll stay up there. What's this? Open time capsule. What's that? Uh TC three six five six seven four three two two. Hydrate or dihydrate. Don't forget your recommended daily intake of H2O. Within this capsule are the materials required to construct a water filtration machine. Huh? This message and its contents are sponsored by Hydrated Hoverfish Emporium TM. Cool. Well, thanks, random stranger. I'll take it. I'll take it. Ooh, there's a ruby. Nice. Is another time capsule? What is this? Don't eat the blue bits. Didn't think these things would taste any good, but I was pleasantly surprised. Avoid the blue bits, though. They're kind of gritty. Whoever finds this, I hope you enjoy them as much as I did. Good luck surviving. Oh, thank you. Bulb bush sample. I'll, I'll take it. Sure. Thanks. We're going to have to go back um, to, to empty our inventory because of these uh, the time capsules giving me more stuff than I was planning on picking up, but uh, that doesn't seem like it'll be a big deal. And here's the life pot, actually. Ooh, more rubies. Oh, I only have space for one. Okay. So I'll, I'll come back to the life pod once I empty out my inventory again. There's a bunch of rubies here, so that's cool. That's fantastic. I didn't even realize I was this far down. I'm, I'm at 300 meters. I didn't even notice. Cool. All right, back up to the surface, or back up to our base, not the surface. Okay, I'm just going to empty out my inventory, and we'll get back to uh, the sparse reef real quick. Cool. So we have um, one of these pygmy bulb bushes growing. That's fun. All right, we're going to store our rubies in here for now. And uh, I'm gonna keep going. I, there's stuff I wanna make. I'm just gonna keep going. Ooh, hello. And finding stuff, because why not? Getting more rubies. I need that for a bunch of stuff. I'm gonna need a bunch of arrow gel, so I might as well keep farming it. I'm gonna cut back to when I get back there. A few moments later. Okay, we're back. And uh, we're just gonna keep collecting stuff. Collecting rubies. I'm gonna try to collect as many as I can. Fill my inventory up with them. Oh yeah, we're good. We're we're good. We're finding all kinds. This is easy. And what's this? We got a PDA. Life five nineteen second officer Keen's voice log. Pod detached to a cave planet fall in 30 seconds. The computer has identified a landmass at the attached coordinates. I want you to regroup the crew there. Understood, but they are your responsibility now. Don't let them down. Captain, you need to evacuate. He's dead. Negative. You'll need the ship That's in one piece if you're going to contact HQ on the long range. I'm attempting a controlled descent. Yeah. Well, we... Uh... We all know how that ended, so 
That's rough. Okay. Doesn't look like there's anything in the life pod. That's rough. More rubies. Any more rubies here? I what this is. Hold on. I'm curious. Ooh, hello. Cyclops fire suppression system. Okay. Ooh, there's another time capsule. Wait, what? This looks different. What is this? The, oh, that's the blood kelp zone. I'm going to stay away from there for now. I don't know what's over there. And I don't feel the need to go there, especially in the darkness. So we'll do that later. I'm sure I'll have to go there at some point. Oh. Yeah. My inventory is now full. Um, wow, okay. TC19291967666. Cyclops care package. Hello, fellow explorer. This capsule can, contains most of the resources necessary to create the Cyclops. Wow. In addition to these items, you'll need a lubricant from one creep vine seed cluster, three lead from sandstone outcrops, and one more enamel glass. Drop metal debris near a stalker. The stalker will pick it up, and after picking up and dropping it a few times, the stalker will drop a stalker tooth, which is used to craft enamel glass. That's what it is that you need. To unlock the ability to build the Cyclops, you'll have to scan three fragments of each of the three parts of it. You will you can find hole and bridge fragments in the mushroom forest to the east of Life Pod 5. And you can find engine fragments around the wreck under the island with the alien tower. This wreck also has some other useful blueprints. Wow. Good lord. Well, uh, cool. Yeah. Um, so I think the game is telling me I need to build a Cyclops and a prawn suit because I'm finding all these rubies and I got somebody giving me stuff to make a Cyclops. So that's pretty sick. I can't really see where I'm going because it's so dark. There's a lot more rubies, but I don't, I think I'm good for now. I think I've collected all the rubies I need for now. And if not, I can always come back and it seems pretty easy to get back here. So I'm not worried about getting more rubies. I will probably be coming back here in my own time anyways. So no big deal. I can't see anything. Is there a headlight upgrade to the CMOT so I can see better? Cause this is bad. Man, I, I collected a lot of stuff today. And people were just giving me free things. Just, just cuz. That's cool. It's kind of lucky. I don't know, like, I don't know how the time capsules work. I know, like, isn't that stuff other people give you? Like, other players will leave time capsules around for you. And I haven't seen any yet, so I picked up, like, what, three today? Out of nowhere? I'll take it. I'm not complaining. Okay, Ruby. And I th uh, just all kinds of plasteel ingots. That's crazy. I'm I'm out of room here. You know what we'll do? Let's let's see what we need to make a prawn suit. Prawn suit, diamond, lead. Cool. I can take some diamond and lead out of here. Plasteel ingot, arrow gel. So what do I need to make arrow gel? Gel sack and one ruby. Okay, I can do that. I need sand shark to leave me alone. Okay. Cool. Welcome aboard, Captain. And Aerogel. Now, how does one make a prawn? Is that the mobile vehicle bay thing? Is that what I need for that? And I feel like it would make sense for me to make another moon pool. Does that make sense? Like, I feel like that would make sense so I can have one for each. Maybe. I'd have to, like, move some stuff around, I think, if I did that. Let's go. I have a mobile vehicle bay up by the um, the starting life pod. Let me go take a nap. I'm, like, spinning around in circles. I'm sorry. Let me go sleep. And let me go get the mobile vehicle bay. I kind of want it to be closer to me. It's in the safe shallows, which isn't far, but I'm just going to bring it down here. Right here. Okay. Can I... Uh, like, hack up mobile vehicle bay. Yeah. 
Let's do that. Let's bring it closer to base, and we should be able to build a prawn suit. I, I think that's what I need to, to do it. We'll see. And uh, maybe I'll make another moon pool. I'll probably do that off camera, though. I'm going to have to like, rearrange my base or something. It'd be cool if they were right next to each other. Hi. I don't know what you want from me. There you go. Uh, yeah. I'm sorry. I don't know what I did to you. Okay, mobile vehicle bay. Put that here. And that'll float up to the surface, right? Okay. And use vehicle bay. Vehicles. So, I can make the cyclops as well. But I'm going to make a prawn suit now. First, piloting a prawn suit to feel a sense of limitless power. Prawn operators receive weeks of training to counteract this phenomenon. You will have to make do with self-discipline. Okay. Cool. Enter prawn. Ooh. Ooh. Ooh, I like that. Ooh, I can punch. Hey. Yeah, get out of here. Oh, oh, I feel powerful. Come here. Ooh, I can ooh, I can do a double punch. Bop. That's amazing. Oh yeah, I'm definitely making a moon pool for this thing. Oh yeah, definitely. Very cool. Very, very cool. I think that's where I'm gonna end it actually for the day. I'm probably gonna do some more exploring of the sparse reef, collect more rubies. And maybe I'll make a Cyclops next episode, or maybe by the time next episode comes around, I will have a Cyclops already made. But this is cool. Um and maybe I'll start looking for like the upgrades for the uh, the prawn suit um, as well. And uh, yeah, we're making progress, dude. I feel accomplished. Today was a good day. Thank you very much for watching. If you enjoyed this episode, make sure to leave a like and subscribe. You can also become a channel member to help support the channel. You can uh, join the Discord server. Follow me on TikTok. Follow me on Twitter. And yeah, that's about it. Thank you for watching. Hope you enjoyed. Have a good day. See you later. Goodbye.